Okay, morning everybody. It is the morning after our return from the Paul Bunyan Show, which where we had an awesome time. Everybody, thank you for coming up and chatting with us. And uh, appreciate anybody who took the time to come over and uh, say hello and uh, all the new friends we made. And uh, hope to hear from you guys again soon. But today, as promised, the conveyor is headed over to the woodyard along with the Easton Maid, and we're gonna get to splitting some, some red oak, a lot of red oak. Let's get going. That's Deb. Follow him up with the Easton Maid. Alright guys, it took a while to get us set up over here today, uh, learning where we're going to put this. This is not the best layout at all. Our log lift is on the wrong side from where we have all of our oak stacks. So we did bring a bunch over here to get started with. What I'll do is, while Deb's running the, running the splitter, the conveyor's taking the wood away. I'm going to be taking the tractor around the back side of the splitter and bringing rounds over here. It just doesn't lay out right here guys, the way the, uh, where the rounds are now. If we turned everything around. It's where we keep our logs backwards. It's where we need to take the firewood down to here. So what we're gonna do is just, we plan on stacking the red oak down here anyway. So we're gonna leave ourselves enough room to get pallets in and get started stacking and then we just go right off the pile, right into the pallet. So right now our big concentrate, our big point is just to get a lot of this gone or at least split into, uh, <laughs> into firewood, so. I'm going to start off with the conveyor low. As the pile builds up, I'll just crank the winch. We'll lift it up a little higher each time. This is Deb's baby, so she's running it. Yes, you know, we did fire up the conveyor a little bit just to see how she ran. Squeals yet. But uh, we're going to go ahead and run this piece through, and uh, well, we'll run a few of them through and uh, see how it runs. Gauge PTO. Yeah, we're going to have to get a little oil in there, guys. Get rid of that squealy noise. Yes, there is a little gap in there. That's so any, well, a lot of the garbage should fall out. First piece is going up. Wow, that squealing is getting irritated.
guys, we're losing light here, but uh, we put a big dent in this. Let's take a look. We've got about two and a half cords of red oak here, maybe more. I'm not used to judging it by heat, but uh, man, two and a half cords, I'll call it. And then about a cord or so of hickory. All right, maybe close to a cord of hickory, two and a half cords of oak. The hickory, we didn't uh, we didn't film that because we just split that into the bucket and moved it over there next to the hickory stack. We'll take care of that. Then what we're going to do here, once we're done splitting, is start setting the pallets there and work our way through the pile and then adding more pallets as we go. All right, guys, you can tell Deb's been busy stacking. We were splitting during the weekends and Deb was stacking during the week. And uh, I came over and gave her a hand after work and we are down with just the... Uh, Basically the kindling wood. This is uh, the smaller bits and pieces that uh, came out of this this uh, run of firewood. Some of this is already on our uh, miscellaneous hardwoods back here in the back. Uh, our hickory. We haven't uh, built our hick next hickory pallet yet. Uh, we'll be doing that shortly. But we got, at least finally got all that massive pile of hickory split up. There it is, guys. I think this down in the front here is pretty close to a face cord. All right, once it would stacked in between there, be a, make close to a single row. So that's about a face cord. We got a full cord on the pallet, probably a full cord plus because we really heat these cord pallets. And back here, if you watched in the video, you saw that this one had a big, a big area missing out of that. Plus, again, we've heaped it way high, so to make sure we've got a cord in there. So I, I think we were pretty close to two cords here. Um, I think I said a cord and a half when we originally did it, but I think we got close to uh, three cords. Or, I'm sorry, two cords. <laughs> this is our miscellaneous harvest. You can see some of that small oak is packed in here. What we'll do is, as it dries, we'll pack it up for kindling and uh, probably send it as an uh, extra sale along with the firewood. Or we'll use it for ourselves, whichever works. And we've got a growing boiler wood pile over here. Uh, it's not on a pallet or anything else. At this point, we're just tossing it aside. Uh, we're thinking about some IBC totes to get that packed in and get that out of here. And uh, I'm watching some deer watching me way down the end of that fence line down there. <laughs> you probably can't see them, but they're watching me. Well, there you have it, guys. Maiden voyage of the little giant conveyor. And it worked excellent. At least we found out where that squeak was. <laughs> that was irritating. I'm sure I'm glad I was able to drown that up with some music for you guys. Uh, but that was that was pretty bad. But a little bit of oil on the lower the lower half of this conveyor underneath it here. It's uh, it's riding on that, so a little squirt of oil on there quieted it right down. And it's not like you have to load it up. And that oil is not getting on the firewood. That's another good thing. So, but nearly two cords done. That was probably what four hours. Yeah. Maybe more. Well, three hours on the oak. I think we messed around with getting set up and everything else. And about an hour. I mean the hickory. The hickory. No, well the hickory was done. We did that right. probably an hour or so. Yeah, I would say an hour for the hickory. Maybe, and then getting set up probably took an hour because we weren't sure where to set everything up over here with the conveyor. It's all new setup. And then getting the splitter back in here. And you saw how we had to run rounds around the outside of it. But probably three hours, two cords, not bad. Um, I think the next time we hit this, it's going to go much faster because we're set. All we got to do is back the, the uh, splitter in here, bring the rounds on the other side of the splitter. Unfortunately, we still have to take care of that issue and start pumping them out and uh yeah it's gonna, i think it's gonna go real well you did see um on the outside of those pieces you, you may have seen in close-ups you saw a lot of the junk piling up underneath the splitter that's not the splitter's fault that's not the box switch fault these logs were nearly what three years old yeah if not Same. more we bucked them up way back in a video that said uh, bucking mount wood um, or cleaning up Mount Wood. There were several of those and, and they had been down on the other property where we got them from for a year or so. So we lost a lot of the sap wood off those. They weren't, it's not the highest quality wood, but we did get a lot of good quality wood out of it. And in the back here, you can see we've got a lot better logs. These aren't as old. And so we're gonna be pumping out a lot of good, uh, higher quality oak, I think, coming up. And we've got a lot. There's probably three cords <laughs> sitting back here yet. It's hard to tell on camera, guys, but this is, that heap is five feet high and you know 20 feet wide and probably 15 feet deep so it's it's a good pile to get through and uh the east of made for one is going to make it much easier and his conveyor just to get it clear get it away from us get it stacked up 
like I said, we can raise this conveyor up even more to get just let let it pile up, build a nice size cone, and we can go go from there to stack it up. And like I said, I'm uh, we're splitting on the weekends. Deb stacking during the week while I'm at work, and I think that's working out pretty well. Look behind you. They don't even know we're over here. They might hear it. You see him? Mm -hmm. You stand on the hill staring at him. There's a deer right off here to the left, guys. Our left. You're right. <laughs> He's just standing at the top of the rise there watching us. Anyway, before it gets too dark, guys, if it isn't already, um, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, we'll be back with more. We've got black water coming up, right? Yes, black water. We've got a good amount of black water logs coming up and some beautiful boards. And if you watch our shorts videos, you probably caught some of that, okay? And uh, we'll be back as, splitting. As always, guys, we're gonna go. We're gonna start splitting again tomorrow. So we'll have more splitting videos coming up. We will have more milling videos coming up. So please stick with us here at the channel. To all the folks who are new here, um, thank you for coming out, stopping out, and supporting us. Um, if you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the share button, and of course, try to think about subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and helps out the channel a whole lot. Also, down below the video is Merch Channel. No. Oh. No. Oh. Did you see that? A squirrel just fell out of the tree. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, he's running back up the tree. A, a squirrel literally just fell out of the tree. Missed his jump, I guess. <laughs> wow. Craziness here. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. For the new folks, for the folks that have been coming out every week supporting us, thank you very much. Uh, it's always very much appreciated. Um, don't forget, hit that like button. If you watch the video all the way to the end, that helps us out the most. Yes. Right? Watch time with, with uh, YouTube does help us out the most. Hitting that like button helps us out the most. And please, put comments down below, okay? Definitely like the comments. We like talking with everybody. We proved that with a four-hour live stream coming over from Paul Bunyan. So if you didn't see that, eh, it's four hours long. So if you guys have time to kill, there you go. Watch us drive home from Paul Bunyan. It was, it was interesting. It was fun. Made the trip go faster. Yes, it did. Four, that was the fastest four-hour drive. It was six <laughs> hours total, but we and two hours in, I'm like, I'm turning the camera when I'm bored. So... All right, guys, um, as always, if you have any questions about what we're doing here at the mill, about the conveyor, about the splitter, about any of the tools we're using, especially the log right hook -a that thing was great. That was great for moving logs along. We've got to get used to using that more often. It's much better than bending over, dragging logs along the ground or, or rolling them along the ground. But if you have any questions about any of the tools we're using here, please put it down in the comment section. I'm glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out and we'll see you later next time. Take care. Thank you.